Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we're gonna round with decimals. Now rounding with decimals is almost exactly the same. Uh, we use the same concept as what as how we round normal numbers. So we're still gonna use that thing that says, if it's five or more, let it soar. If it's four or less, let it rest. Which is something I showed you in the previous lesson. So now we're just gonna use decimals, okay? And there's also a few interesting things I need to add. So, um, so let's say we have the number three, one, two, comma, um, five, eight, three, six. Now let's say the question asks you to round to the nearest two decimals. So what does two decimals mean? Well, here's the decimal, okay? So now you look to the right-hand side, which these are all called the decimals, and we only want the first two, so you just want those two, okay? So that means this is the last number. This is the last number. And so that's the number that might change. So to see whether, so, so let's quickly see the different options. So our answer is either gonna become three, one, two, comma, five, nine, and then all of these are zeros, or it's gonna be three, one, two, comma, five, and then if we leave it, it stays as eight, zero, zero, zero. Now, something that is very important is the following. With, or let's say, um, you can erase, all zeros at the end of the decimals. So that means these zeros, you can get rid of them, and these zeros, you can get rid of them. So these are the two answers that we could get. Now, to work out what's gonna happen, you, once again, you look to the one that's on the right-hand side, and then you use this rule over here. So the number three, is in this category over here. If it is four or less, let it rest. What that means is let this number rest. What that means is leave it alone, so leave it as it was. So that means it stays as a 58, or an eight, sorry, and so this is the final answer for this one, okay? If you had to round it to two decimals. Now we're gonna spend the rest of this lesson doing quite a lot of examples to make sure that you really understand this. This one says round the number to the nearest, two decimals. So if here's the decimal, whoops, here's the decimal, then look at two numbers after that. So that's first number, second number. So it's the four, okay? So we look at the four. And so the possible answers could be 141. Let's we'll write this a bit better. 141. Or let, let's just put, leave the comma out for now. Oh no, the comma is there, comma three. So oh, it could go up, could go up and then zero, zero, or it could go, it could stay as it is, three, um, four, zero, zero. Then it says erase all zeros at the end of the decimals, so those zeros you can erase and those you can erase. So now what we do is we look at the number on the right, like we've always done in previous rounding examples, and you look at that number. Now it says that if that number is five or more, let it soar, so let, what they mean by that is let the four, let it soar. So soar means you're flying, so you're becoming bigger. So um, it soars and goes upwards and becomes the five. So this is the answer, one, four, one, comma, three, five. Here's the next one, round to three decimal places. So you count the three numbers after the decimal, one, two, three. Okay, so it's the six that could change. So let's just highlight that. And so your possible answers could be 54 comma 89700, or it could be 54 comma 89600. And then remember zeros at the end of a decimal, we always leave that out, only because there's decimals, right? If it was a normal number, you wouldn't leave out, you wouldn't scratch out the zeros, but when it's a decimal, you must scratch out the zeros if they're at the end. Only when the zeros are at the end, okay? Um, you see in the note I said here, yeah, erase all zeros at the end of the decimals. In a few examples after this in this lesson, I'll show some where there's zeros that are not at the end, and I'll show you what to do. Now to see what's gonna happen, you need to look at the number on the right, and that it tells us that if that number is four, or less, let it rest. So what that means is let this number rest. What that means is leave it alone. So leave it as a six because that's what it was. And so the final answer for this one is 54,896. This example says round to the nearest one decimal. So you go to the decimal and then you only count one number to the right and so that's gonna be this four. So it's this four 
that is going to maybe change. So the answers could be 4158,500, or it could be 4158,400. And then zeros at the end, you can always leave those out. And so the way we work out the answer now is you look at the number on the right of the decimal one that we're looking at. So you look at that number, and so if it is five or more, let it soar. Soar means let it go bigger. So that means it's this one. So the final answer is going to be 4158 comma five. So here's a nice example because this one has a zero already. So this one says round this number to the nearest one decimal. So if you look at the decimal, then you count one number. So it's this zero over here. And so let's just highlight that. And so your possible answers could be 414,1000, or it could be 414,0000. And then remember, any zeros get scratched out, scratch out, and scratch out. And then if you have a, um, a decimal, but there's nothing at the end, then I don't know if you can remember from the previous lesson, we leave that out completely. So these are the two answers that we could get. Now we've got to go see which ones it's going to be. And the way that we do that is we look to the number on the right-hand side. So we look at this four. Now the rule says that if it is four or less, let it rest. So because it's four or less, we're gonna let it rest, which would be this bottom option, because remember that was zero, zero, zero. So we were gonna let it stay as it was. And so this is the final answer, but when you write it down, you will just say four, one, four, like that. This one says round to the nearest whole number. So that means um, no decimals. So that's zero decimal places. So that would be this one at the end over here. You wouldn't look at that one because that means one decimal place. That means two decimal places. That means three decimal places. But if you want zero decimal places, then you're looking at that one over there. So let's highlight that. So then the final answers could be 9879. And then these would all just become zeros. But now when you have comma zero, 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 you can just take all of that out. You never have a comma, you never have zeros, first of all. Um, so we took out all the zeros. And then if you just have a comma at the end, you just leave it out, okay? Your other option is that the eight stays in eight. And then here you would have zero, zero, zero. But these zeros you erase. And then you never wanna have a decimal at the end like that. And so these are the two options. Now to see which answer it will be, you look at the number on the right, which is this four, and then you look at this rule. And it says, if it is four or less, let it rest. So that means leave it the way it was. So it was an eight, so we're gonna leave it as an eight. And so this would be the final answer over here. Let's do two more examples. So this one says to the nearest two decimal places, so that would be over here. So we let's highlight that. And so your answers could be seven, eight, eight, comma, four, nine, and then zero, zero, or seven, eight, eight, comma, four, eight, where you leave it alone, zero, zero. Then remember zeros at the end, we just get rid of them. Now to work out what the answer will be, we look to the decimal on the right. And then we apply this rule, and it says if it is five or more, let it, if it is five or more, let it soar. So that means we're gonna let it go, we're gonna let it go up. So this number is gonna go up to a nine, and so the final answer will be seven, eight, eight, comma, four, nine. Let's do one more example. This one says to the nearest four decimals, so that's one decimal, two decimals, three decimals, and four decimals, so it's that seven over there. So let's highlight that. And so your final answers could be seven, eight, eight, comma, four, eight, zero, eight, zero, or it could be seven, eight, eight, comma, four, eight, zero, seven, zero. And then zeros at the end, we leave out. Now, the way that we tell whether it's gonna go up or down is we look at the number on the right, and then we use this over here. Now it says, if it is five or more, let it soar. So because it's an eight, it's gonna cause this number seven to soar to become an eight. And so you're left with seven, eight, eight, comma, four, eight, oh, eight. 
as your final answer.